This is how to set up an IVS intrusion rule on a Dowell recorder. From the main menu, select AI, then collapse the AI search section and expand the parameters section. And select Smart Plan. Choose the channel you want from the drop down. I'm going to do channel one. Then click on the light bulb for IVS. Then click OK. Then on the left, select IVS. Then choose the channel you want. In this case, we're doing channel one. Then you can choose whether you want AI by camera or AI by recorder. I'm going to do AI by camera. Then click on the plus button to add a new rule. Double click on the type and change it to intrusion. And on the left here, you're going to draw the intrusion rule. Left click to start drawing the rule and continue left clicking to draw each side of the box. When you're done, right click and it will complete the box. If you want, you can adjust the target filter for the minimum and maximum sizes of objects that will trigger the rule. You just click on draw target here. And then if you adjust the bigger box, that is the maximum size of objects that will trigger the rule or adjust the smaller box for the minimum size of objects that trigger the rule. If you check on appear, whenever an object appears inside of the box, it will trigger the rule. If you check cross, it will be for when objects go into or out of the box. You can choose whether it's when objects enter here, exit, or both. I'm going to keep it on both. If you keep target filter checked, it will only be triggered by humans or motor vehicles. Or if you uncheck motor vehicles, it will only be triggered by humans or vice versa. If you uncheck humans and check motor vehicle, it will only look for motor vehicles. I'm going to keep the target filter on and check both. If the camera has a built-in speaker, you can check camera audio and then click on settings to the right here and choose what audio will be played when the event is triggered and how many times it will be played. Click OK. You can click on setting next to schedule. And this is the days and times when the following actions will be triggered if this event is triggered. Click OK. The post record is the amount of time it will continue recording after the event is triggered. If you click on setting next to alarm outport and you have any devices connected to the back of the recorder on the alarm outports, you can have them turned on when the event happens. Click on setting, check the box for local alarm, and then highlight the alarm out port number that you have the device connected to. When you're done, click OK. Make sure that record channel is checked. The channel you're on is highlighted, in this case channel 1. It will record that channel when the event is triggered. If you want, you can highlight the other channels and it will record those channels as well. If you check on tour and then choose multiple channels, it will play a tour of those channels on the local monitor when the event is triggered. If you have a PTZ camera added to the recorder and you want it to trigger a preset, a tour, or a pattern, you can click on setting here. And then whatever channel that the PTZ is on, you can click the drop down and choose preset tour pattern and type in the number for that preset tour pattern to be triggered. Make sure that you check the box for enable as well. When you're done, click OK. If you check the box for alarm tone and you've added custom audio to the recorder, it will play. Click on more at the bottom. If you check buzzer, it will make a beeping noise out of the recorder when the event is triggered. If you check log, it will add the event to the log when it is triggered. If you check report alarm and you've set up the alarm center and network, it will trigger that. If you check send email and you've set up the settings under network for email, it will send an email when the event is triggered. When you're done, click OK. And then at the bottom, click OK to save the settings. It will say operation succeeded. And now we will jump over to the live view to see the intrusion IVS rule triggered. As you can see, when the subject enters the intrusion box, it flashes red when it is triggered. And you've now set up an IVS intrusion rule.